previous business school chip throw-offs have produced two-time winner Professor Ed Gerloff. As he stepped up to the line to defend his title, Gerloff complained that they'd switched ammunition on him this year, from usual missiles manufactured right. by cows to another variety left by buffaloes. And maybe that was Gerloff's undoing, because his one and only effort was, by agreement of just about everybody, lousy. His chip fragmented into so many buffalo chiplets, none of them coming close to the heaves of student Brock Andriola and his economics instructor Les Hammond. They had thrown themselves into a tie, besting the efforts of numerous students who gamely tried every way they knew how to keep the chips airborne. For his final throw, Andriola looked for a small, hard-packed chip. Instructor Hammond did the same. Andriola won with the longest throw of the day, winning both the adulation of the crowd and the chance to tell reporters how he'd done it. For a two-time champion, Professor Gerloff didn't do much today. No, no, I think he uh, underestimated the competition. You know, I think uh, he didn't think that the students would, uh, you know, come out and you know, be able to throw it because uh, he... As well as the professor can throw yeah, it around. You know, he, he has a lot of practice during the year in, in the class, you know. He can really just fling that stuff around. So. Bruce Halford, Channel 8 News.